Now let's look into the one more bonus operation that is vector stacking. Vector stacking of ND array. This is widely useful for a technical guys. It may be automobile or electrical or electronics uh, because we need to work with a lot of vectors uh, in that uh, domain. So that's why we will be looking into this also. How do we construct? How do we construct a two D array from a list of equally sized row vectors? So if it is in MATLAB, MATLAB, uh, it's quite easy. You can just take x and y. These are two vectors of the same length, and you only need to do m is equals to uh, open square bracket x and uh, uh, semicolon y and close the square bracket. With this operation, you can create a new a 2D array from a list of equally sized row vectors. But whereas in NumPy, it's quite uh, complex. In NumPy, so this work uh, we do via the functions called column stack and uh, d stack, hit stack, and v stack. So depending on the dimension in which the stacking is to be done, so we will use that respective function. If it is stacking to be done uh, in column, column stack. If it is horizontal, it's stack. Uh, if it is vertical, it's v stack. Let's look into one example. So this is vector stacking. So let's take x is equals to np dot a range and it's uh, 0 to 10 with a step of 2. So okay, 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 got it. This one, yeah. So now let me uh, print x, yeah, we got it. It's uh, 0 to 10 excluding 10 with a step with the step 2 then similarly we'll create another vector np dot arrange we'll directly give the value or we'll just directly mention the number of elements it's gonna bring so print y and it's 0 to 5 excluding 5 clear so now we want a a two dimensional array from these two so let me say x is x dot shape and y dot shape so both are of same shape so we just want to construct construct a, a 2d array from these equally sized row vectors x x and y so to do that m is equals to I'll go with the np that's array and I'm gonna say v stack. I'm gonna use v stack function. So v stack function and mention both x comma y. So m that's it. So as we have used v stack, it's going to be stacked vertically. So the x and uh, the x and below that uh, y. So both has been stacked vertically. So you can do horizontal stacking if you want uh, a side by side. And similarly, you can do others also. So another way of doing the same operation, just say x y is equals to n p dot h stack. This is horizontal stacking, and say x comma y. These are the two vectors I want to join and here is uh, the horizontal stacking it's clearly visible for you uh, that's it so the logic behind these functions is more than two dimensions can be strange